Hey, Miles here at Tackle Hive. If you're a new shooter or a new gun owner, you probably have asked yourself at some point in time, should you shoot with one eye or two eyes open? If you're interested in finding out what the answer is, stay tuned to this video. Welcome back. As I mentioned, this video is primarily for newer shooters, newer gun owners who are just learning how to shoot. And if you are a new gun owner, make sure you are protected. If you ever have to use your firearm, that is the first fight, but there is going to be a second fight. Whether you're in the right or wrong, it doesn't really matter. They're going to come after you for your money and you need to be protected. CCW Safe is the legal protection many of us use. It's the protection I have. They offer self-defense protection of the highest caliber. And if you are in any kind of altercation, they're going to help you. They're going to have your back. They'll actually send someone from their critical incident response team to walk you through the entire process. They will hold your hand. So you're not left alone to figure things out, to hire your own legal counsel, and maybe just get reimbursed at the end. CCW Safe will, again, help you out. They'll hold your hand, guide you every step of the way. So if you're interested, make sure to check them at the link below or the link up here. Now let's get to the content. All right, I have a dry pistol here, but I'm gonna use this for demonstration purposes. And we are going to address the very common question, should you shoot with both eyes open or one eye open? And the answer really depends because there are a lot of variables. Just like in many shooting techniques, we have to consider context and other things like physical abilities in terms of vision, some people may have some vision issues that you know, make it problematic to do one or the other. Being in my mid 40s, my vision is constantly changing right now, particularly at this moment in time where sometimes I'm re I feel very focused, certain, shooting certain ways, sometimes I have to close my eyes. So it's context dependent and dependent on other variables. That said, there are some commonalities that you're going to hear across the board. So we already know it depends, okay? It's never going to be black and white. But what I'm going to share with you are pretty much the common denominators, or I should say the common pros and cons for shooting with one eye and or uh, shooting with two eyes open. After I explain them to you, then you have a better understanding of you know, what, you know, what you might wanna do based on your application and context. Remember, that's the keyword context. And with this understanding, you might feel more confident in what you're currently doing because maybe you do have physical limitations with your vision and you might be thinking that, oh, I should shoot the other way, but I physically can't. It might not necessarily be the case. So let's get right to it. Let's first talk about shooting with one eye closed, one eye open. And I've taken on my eye pro, so just to make sure you can see my eyes. And I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but just in case, right, for those who are nitpicky. So let's go over some of the pros here. It, it's pretty natural when you have new gun owners, they will pick up a gun and it's pretty natural for them to put their gun up to their eyes and squint. It could be from you know watching television, movies, TV shows, um, and also it, it feels natural for a lot of people. In addition, doing so allows people to usually use their dominant eye, right? So if I was right eye dominant, which I am, it is easier for me to not have two images if I close one eye. It can be confusing for some people who are new to shooting and they don't really know how to focus yet properly. And remember going back to physical limitations and vision, there might be people who always see double no matter what. If they're trying to shoot iron sights or a red dot, they always, you know, even though they know their dominant eye, when they have both eyes open, they're seeing double images here. And so they don't really know which target to shoot. And by closing one eye, that can help make things much easier for the shooter. This is why a lot of instructors in the industry will actually start their students off by closing one eye so that one, they can know what is uh, their dominant eye quickly, right? So if, if my dominant eye was my left eye and I did this, my shots probably are gonna be all over the place. And then I could close my right eye and then just adjust here and then see if my shot's on target. And then I would know that I would be left eye dominant or cross eye dominant. In addition, I already talked about how it's natural for newer shooters to do this, right? So you're gonna close your non-dominant eye, take that shot, you won't have double vision. It's easier to focus on the mechanics of marksmanship that you're learning rather than having to worry about double vision. So those are the major pros to shooting with one eye. Now the disadvantages or the cons that a lot of people talk about is the very fact that you don't have full 
perspective or full field of view when you're looking around. So you don't have full situational awareness. Is that good? Is that bad? I'll get to this in a little bit, but it goes back to context. But let me just finish that off. So if I'm here with one eye closed, I no longer can see everything to my left side. I don't, ha I don't have that peripheral vision. So if this was a self-defense situation, I could be hindered there because again, I'm not taking in as much information as I can to make quick decisions and, and problem solve. So those are the major pros and the major con to shooting with one eye open or one eye closed. Now let's talk about shooting with two eyes open, starting with the advantages or the pros. First is you have a wider field of view now. So you can take in more information, you have better situational awareness. So if this is a real life altercation, no longer do I have maybe let's say only 90 degrees of my vision, I, have, I can open up with both eyes there. Unlike shooting with only one eye, perhaps if I did this here, and maybe I cut off 90 degrees in my vision because I'm closing my left eye, if I have both eyes open, I'll be able to see more additional threats and again, have better situational awareness. Another benefit to shooting with two eyes open that's connected with having a wider field of view is that I will have an easier time transitioning from target to target with two eyes open because I can see more. So let's say I have one target over here, I'm engaging this target and I'm about to finish or I'm already finished shooting this target. I can see the next target, the next threat, all the way here on my left side with my left eye open. So I already have an idea of where I need to move my body in order to take that next shot or to address that next threat. Whereas if I had one eye closed here, I cannot see this camera. I, I cannot see you right now. I, I have no idea where you are. So if there was another threat, I would not be able to see that threat. With my eyes open, I can see all the way to a bright about here with both eyes open. And I definitely can see you with my left eye open. So those are two major advantages to shooting with both eyes open. How about the cons, the disadvantages? One is for newer shooters, it can be difficult to focus and it can be improved through training, which I'm gonna to get to in a little bit, but that is a major issue. And we already talked about how some people have vision issues and that could lend itself to not being able to see clearly and some confusion as to which target issue, which kind of segues into the next con, which is, uh, which I also alluded to, is having double vision, not knowing which target to hit. That could be because of physical limitations in vision or just getting used to using your dominant eye even with your non-dominant eye open. All that can be trained though. But those are the two major pros and cons to shooting with both eyes open. So you might be asking, okay, I understand the pros and cons, which one is better? Okay, which should I strive for? We already talked about how you know, it's not black and white. It's going to be dependent on the context. And let me explain a little bit more. If we are target shooting, there's no threats or anything at all that we have to worry about, and you are literally just learning marksmanship here, it would be okay to just close your eyes, particularly if you have vision issues, if you're a beginner and having problems focusing, there's absolutely no problem with shutting one eye to take your shots and learn the fundamentals. Ultimately, you probably want to open up two eyes if you are interested in self-defense applications or you're shooting uh, for defensive or tactical purposes. If it's just target shooting, again, you can close your eye, no problem. If that makes things easier and you're getting your shots on target, no big deal. If you are, let's take another example here where shooting with one eye is completely okay. Remember, context. If you are, let's take rifle shooting, you're shooting with a scope and you're doing long range precision shooting, no problem at all closing one eye because in general, you don't have to worry about immediate threats around you. You're focused on a threat or target down range. And if it's not a threat, you know, when it's, we're talking about just target shooting, long range target shooting, you have nothing to worry about. So you can't shut your eye. So there's no issues there. How about situations where you wanna have two eyes open? I've, I already alluded to them, which is, if you are training for defensive purposes, for uh, real life altercations, it's very important to have two eyes open so you can take in a lot of information. Also for competition, for example, you may wanna have both eyes open because you can transition from one target to the next target much easier because you can see other targets in your periphery. It is not to say that one is better than the other though, personally, subjectively speaking, because let me just take that example I gave you. There are a lot of professional shooters in the competitive world who at certain points, they will shut one eye. And it could be for whatever reason, whatever reason, again, there's, there's lots of different variables. Physically, maybe their vision is just, it's just easier for them to do that. But 
it's still possible for them to still shoot very well and transition very well. So don't think that if you close one eye, that's the end of the world, but for the vast majority of shooters, okay, there's our exceptions, but the vast majority of shooters are gonna do much better transitioning quicker with both eyes open. So which one is better? It really depends on the situation. But a lot of instructors and a lot of people, if they're physically able to do so, they usually will work towards trying to shoot with two eyes open. You already know the major advantages to shooting with two eyes open. And then of course, the cons I already discussed about shooting with one eye. But when we're talking about overall shooting, if you have both eyes open, and again, there's no physical limitations, you can do pretty much all kinds of shooting and have full field of view with both eyes open. Let's go back to the example of if we're shooting with one eye open, we're not going to be able to see everything in our periphery. So let's talk about transitioning here. So if I was shooting a target over here with one eye, okay, I'm shooting this target, in order for me to see what's over here, I would have to keep my eyes shut and then just rely on moving over here, which usually people don't do. They will shoot open their eye, kind of look, and then close their eye again. That is an added step, so to speak. When you can shoot with two eyes open, you don't have to worry about that. You're, everything's just streamlined, you can see from your periphery, and you don't have to close one eye, open one eye, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So the idea is, for a lot of shooters, not everyone, for a lot of shooters is they're trying to shoot with two eyes open because of all the benefits. Now, how do you get there? So let's say you're just starting as a shooter. You find it natural to shoot with one eye and that's completely okay. As I talked about, a lot of instructors, you know, they will start their students with shooting with one eye, no problem at all. And then they'll just build up to it. So if you have vision issues, see double, or just find it more comfortable to shoot with one eye, that's my, that might be where you start. Then to move over or to help transition to two eyes, if that's the way you wanna go, there are some things you can do. So you can start off with doing all of your practice, learning all of your marksmanship with one eye closed, then ultimately begin to just squint. So no longer am I closing my left eye completely, I'm squinting so I can see some information from my left eye. It's taking in some information. At the same time, it is going to get rid of that double vision or the problems most people have when focusing just by squinting. So it's mimicking, it's at hybrid, it's right in the middle ground. Then little by little, as you get used to squinting, then ultimately you're going to train yourself to see with your dominant eye, see clearly, and then eventually you can open up both eyes. How long will it take? I'm not sure, it depends on you. And once again, this is assuming you don't have any vision issues. If you do, then perhaps maybe shooting with one eye might be the best overall um, ongoing in your shooting career. So if you've been wondering about this question, hopefully this video has shed more light on the topic so you're not confused. Ideally, most instructors will want you to shoot with two eyes open, but don't feel you know, like anything's wrong if you can. not And depending on your application and context, perhaps you never have to shoot with two eyes open. Maybe you're a long range shooter and you just like shooting targets from far away, and that can be that, where you're always shooting with one eye open, one eye closed, whichever one you wanna to refer to. If you are currently shooting with one eye open, no problems with that, you know, you can build up your marksmanship skills, but I do recommend that eventually try to just squint one eye and then work your way up to shooting with both eyes so that you can take all information in for defensive purposes and for competition so you can see your whole course of fire much easier. That ends this video. If you guys like the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Leave some comments below. Are there other general questions or any issues, problems, uh, comments you have about shooting with one eye or two eyes, leave in the comment section below. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.